All right, food foresters. We're at one of the uh, racks of the uh, ice cream bananas. You notice they're nice and plump. They've ran rounded out. So we're going to bring these inside so that we can uh, hang them to ripen. So <clears throat> this is not, I mean, these things are real easy to chop up. So I'm just going to take the axe and uh, you grab a hold of the banana, rack nice and tight and boom, off they go. All right, we're down back at the base of the banana tree. And uh, once your banana tree has produced a rack of bananas, it's no longer viable. It's time to chop it down. Um, they only produce once and then they'll just slowly start to die and rot and your best bet is to get it chopped down and to spread it out around the base of the banana tree. So this is the old mother and we have a new daughter here which will now become the mother. And we've left already left a couple small ones here to be the daughter's next. I'll be taking one of this I'll be taking the smallest one of those guys out. So now all we got to do is uh, chop this bad boy down. And I don't I don't chop it right at the right at the base of the ground because you don't want it to to get a lot of that um, bacteria and stuff in there and it could infect the other plants. So I leave it about 12 inches or so above the ground. And this is pretty easy to chop. Um, I'm just kind of taking my time because it's going down between two of these sheds. And then I'll just chop it up and spread it out. Careful the uh, the pipe, yeah. the rubber, the black one. We're videoing. I'm just going to toss this whole thing in here. And as you can tell, we got other ones in here. Grab those leaves. Yeah. And then that's what it, the inside looks like. And that's how you uh, chop and drop with a banana. All right, foresters, we're back inside the house here with the uh, Blue Java ice cream banana rack. Um, you can see they're nice and plump. They're filled out nicely. They they would start to ripen any time now outside on the rack but we like to bring them in before the bugs and the squirrels and everything can get them this rack was leaning up against the house but you can see right here where they were on the actual hitting the uh, the asphalt shingles but they're still okay but we're going to take these guys and hang them up in the laundry room we you want to let them get nice and plump where the lines um, start to uh, round off you can see 
where these lines are on some of these and then some of these are really start they are really super plump mm. that's what you want to see when you take down your rack now I know the camera doesn't show it blue Java's have kind of like a blue tint um, to them when with all the lights on the blue tint doesn't show as much but if we have the lights off you can't really see it mm -hmm. so it's like but to the normal eye when you're looking at it they do have this little tint to them that's kind of bluish uh, it's a soft blue but you can tell um, the blue java is also known as the ice cream banana, banana. And that's because it has a hint of vanilla in it that makes it sweeter. Makes it taste like you're eating uh, banana ice cream. Yep. So let's go ahead and take this guy into the laundry room. We'll turn, got to turn that on. All right, and I just use copper wiring that I had and I wrap it around a few times and you want to hang them upside down yeah this is the one we hung that we took down yesterday and then we just let these guys hang There we go. Now uh, they ripen. We can pluck them off and eat them. Yep. And that's how you do it. If you like that video, hit that like button, remember that bell, and subscribe. And if you want to see any of the other videos, check out everything over here.